Yes, hello, welcome! Welcome back guys, another tech video with Human and Suta and today we're doing an Unraid NAS setup tutorial video. Okay, so we're using the Unraid OS as our NAS operating system. And why we use Unraid is because it gives uh, simplicity, flexibility and scalability and modularity. This means that you can mix any hard drives, any types, any sizes and they can all go together. As you can see, this is a NAS, as I talked about, which means network attached storage. The most amazing thing about the Unraid OS system is the parity drive system. Unlike conventional RAID systems, which you usually have in your regular NAS, pre-build or whatever you use another NAS system, they will use a RAID system which uses one drive as a backup per each drive. So you will use, end up losing much space using those systems. For one drive, you will have another drive backing it up. But in Unraid, you will only need one entire drive to have a backup for your entire storage array. This is a complete amazing system. As you can see here, we have the storage array here and we have our parity drive. The thing is, the parity drive has to be the biggest drive in your storage array. So here you can see all of the other drives does not exceed 4 terabytes. The par parity drive is also 4 terabyte. And you can see when you write something to your storage array, you can see it writes something to the parity drive and to, to your regular hard drives in the storage array. And this means that the parity drive will have the information to rebuild this drive, for example, if this uh, drive were supposed to die or something, if it would fail, then you can just plug another 3 terabyte here and the parity drive will rebuild that drive into what it was before. So this backup system with only one drive, it's really amazing because, as I said, with regular RAID conventional setups, you will lose an, uh, one entire hard drive per each hard drive, and that is very costly, especially for me and human who are on that student budget. As I said previously, when you transfer something to your storage array, it will write it also to the parity drive. And this will be a very slow process. The transfer speeds will not be that great. But if you want to keep those transfer speeds up, you can use something called a cache pool, which allows it to bypass the parity backup system so during the day, your data will not be protected, but this is worth the risk because you will have nice transfer speeds during the day. And this is only for one day, so during the night, it will um, automatically back up everything to your parity and to your storage disks. So it's an amazing compromise for the amazing transfer, transfer speeds that you will get using the cash pool system. Yes, Unraid is an amazing system, but it does cost. But it's really worth it, I can tell you that. So the trial is something you can try out the system for 30 days, full access to the system, full access to its, all of its capabilities. But if you do decide to buy it, the tier 1 basic for only 59 US dollars. This allows you for, for you to have 6 storage attached drives. And then you can upgrade it to plus and to pro and you can see the pricing. Yes, it does steep up but if you do opt for the pro you will have unlimited attached storage devices. That means no restrictions and you can upgrade it as long as you want as long as you have the storage drives. So now that we talked about the pricing, let's see how you install this server system. Okay, so you only press the download for Windows button. And now let's dive into the downloads folder and just double click the file that we just downloaded and press yes. And now, you will of course want to use a stable version because this is for your 
NAS setup which will house very important files in your household and then you will want the latest, latest version of course and then the amazing thing about the Android system it, it doesn't boot from a hard disk drive it boots from a USB flash drive so that means that you don't have to waste an entire hard disk drive on the OS itself so here you will just press the flash drive you want to install it to I will not do it now but this you can do it and press it and then you can write the image to the USB flash drive and then you can just plug it in to your NAS setup and in the BIOS you can select to boot from the bootable USB drive that you just created. So now I will show you how the Unraid system graphical user interface looks like. Here you can see the main system. You can see the parity drive, you can see the disk drives and the cache drive that I talked about. And this is really intuitive. You can see the temperatures, the reads, the writes, the errors, the file system. And one amazing thing about Unraid is that it doesn't lock into a RAID system setup as I talked about previously. It uses a XFS system which means you can just take out your hard disk drives from your Unraid and plug it into a Linux based computer and you can access all the files. This is something you cannot do with an Unraid conventional setup. So this gives the really flexibility of the Unraid system. It proves that the Unraid system is very flexible. So here you can see the flash drive that the OS itself is on which I talked about and here you can see the dashboard you can see the CPU load you can see the memory usage you can see all of the necessary things so this is really an amazing system here you can see all the shares we have created those user shares are something you can easily map as drives in your Windows PC. As you can see here, all the user shares are mapped as drives. And you can see here our movies. And those are easily accessible to every user for your home network. And then we're going to show you settings. Here you can see that this Unraid system is very flexible. It has the capability to be able to be used with Windows, Linux and Apple using the AFP, NFS and SMB systems. We're using the SMB because we are Windows users. And here you can use the info tab to see the hardware you have in your Unraid system NAS setup. As I built this uh, a few years ago, I already forgot about which motherboard it has. So here you can see the motherboard, you can see the CPU, you can see how much RAM you have, and all of those specs that are necessary. And now that I have shown you the specs, let me show you the actual NAS. So we're here in our storage closet. You don't want your NAS to interrupt your daily life. You want it tucked in somewhere where it doesn't make any noise. And here we have the chassis, the Fractal Design Node 804, which allows us to have eight hard disk drives. And the CPU in the system is the AMD A6 6400K APU. And it has four gigabytes of RAM. And it has a 500 watts power supply. And the motherboard is a MSI A78M E45, which has, I, th I believe it's five SATA ports. So we can have practically, in theory, five hard disk drives. Then we have to expand them by using RAID cards. So this is a really amazing and nice, small NAS system setup. We hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, just comment down below and we'll try to answer all of your questions. Please press that thumbs up button to show us some support. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified of our new videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to Human Sudan for more tech videos.
Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to remember who this is. Human. And Sutan! <laughs>